You just can't keep up with this. I am the round-eyed flying saucer of electric death. Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play Star League. I'm your host Magic Man Mo. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. Information about that as well as a link to where you can find this game are in the description down below. As always, um, it's been a few hours as it's actually been a whole day, but that means we have a whole ton of stuff to open. Also, I noticed this the other day before we jump into it. I clicked on my rank and it actually gives us a leaderboard. This is what I was looking for and I was too dumb to find. Um, so, yes, the ranking goes up, like how many points you have, and you are trying to get as high up on the leaderboard as possible. I think it's funny that there's someone called Guest in the number 10 spot. I think that's kind of funny. But I'm at number 106, which tells you, yes, this is a pretty new game. Not a ton of players yet, but it is free, so hopefully we'll get to see that change. And we'll see this leaderboard move around quite a bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and start opening stuff. Let's go ahead and open our daily reward. It's loading. We've got six cards in it. What do we got? All right, we got a shield. Awesome. Guide missile, three of them. Another four guide missiles. We got just tons of guide missiles. We got four uh, or three jets for our green ship. And a whole ton of credits, 171 credits, which is good because we're going to need those to upgrade anyway. A few crystals. And that's that one. All right, let's open our cargo win. Which is what we get for um, winning five uh, matches. Which I we want we were up to like I think three by the end of the last episode. I went ahead and played two more off camera. All right, we got a couple more Tesla coils, another couple more Tesla coils, five double machine guns. Don't mind if I do. Two warps and some credits. 120 war 28 and a handful of crystals. All right, and we got all these things down here. We can open. From winning all those matches. Got four cards in this one. Three guide missiles. Three swords of light. Which I couldn't figure out how to do. It's the swordsman ability. Maybe I'm too stupid. Uh, just 11 cr uh, credits. Not very many credits. And a couple of crystals. These are definitely... The ones that you get for winning a match are definitely the smaller crates of the other two. They don't take as long to uh, unlock. Shield credits crystals. It looks like every crate you get at least gives you some credits and some crystals, and then the rest of the cards are some kind of other thing, some kind of other cards. So I got some repairs, some more repairs, some Tesla, or maybe it was, it was just repairs, Tesla, credits, and some crystals. Okay, there we go. And one more crate to open. Might, have, might as well do it all on camera, because why not? What do we get? Spaceship? Oh, I guess this is just to upgrade the entire ship. Okay. I was like, what? We, we already have that ship. I don't get it. To upgrade the ship, I guess. Okay, awesome. Lots of stock. Lots of stuff. Should we do some upgrading? We can probably do one upgrade. Uh, because we only have 377 crystals. Well, a lot of things actually t cost 400 now, so maybe not. Um, let's upgrade. You know, I really like this guy. We can upgrade the entire ship. Is this a Tesla? Oh, this is the Tesla. We can upgrade the Tesla. Oh, yeah, this this is the entire ship. Okay, hit points, regeneration, acceleration, energy. Yes, I really do like the Tesla ship. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. It'll cost us 200 credits. Ta-da! Because why not? And we've got 572 crystals. It takes a while to get to crystals. What do we spend crystals on? Yes, it's these crates... And we could spend it on credits. We do we do actually kind of need a lot of credits. But should we buy a crate instead? Should we buy a galactic crate? Or just a ton of Chris, uh, a ton of credits? Hmm. I guess with credits, we can actually buy some cards. Well, only a few. Only a handful of cards. Which is interesting that you can only buy these three cards. Because I don't think I can scroll sideways. It doesn't seem like it. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if uh, after you buy them, if they change, if they randomly switch to what cards available. I've, I'm not sure actually. Hang on. If I just buy, if I buy a machine gun card, just for giggles, if I buy one, it only costs me two credits. It's not a lot of credits. It stays there, yeah. So it's interesting that those are the three cards that they choose. 
Um, we have a lot of upgrading to do, actually. So, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's go to the shop. Let's buy Let's buy a ton of credits. What is this? 10,000 credits? Let's do it. We have a ton of crystals. We can do it. Achievement unlocked! We've, we've gotten Big Spender, which gave us another 20 crystals. All right. Now we have a ton of credits to do stuff with. We can actually buy another 1,000 credits, but let's not. Let's go ahead and do some upgrading. Um, I can just keep upgrading the crap out of this Tesla. Uh, level 2, level 2. Do I want to try to keep everything about level 2, though? Kind of on equal footing? Because uh, if this ship ever goes down, then we have to switch ships. Or should I focus on just leveling up two ships? You know what I mean? How do we unlock these? I'm not entirely sure. If I click on one... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to unlock stuff, but that's okay. Let's, uh... I don't want to... We've only got 10,000. <laughs> only. Yeah, we'll upgrade this guy to level two. We'll get all the ships to at least level two. And, okay, yeah, all the ships are now level 2. The Tesla, do we want to upgrade the whole ship to level 3, maybe? We could upgrade his warp. Highly advanced alien technology allows the ship to avoid damage by warping around the battlefield. Uh, what? Uh, sure. I don't use it much, but we'll use it. We'll buy level 2 warp. And all his stuff's level 2 now. Um, the red guy, we'll get his stuff up to level 2. We'll get everybody's weapons and abilities up to level 2. That way, we kind of have an all-around, everybody's okay at everything. And we'll upgrade the double machine gun. Which is pretty good. And for giggles, we're going to upgrade the Tesla, the, just the base whole ship again. We're out of cards on that now. I, actually, we can probably just keep upgrading everything as much as we possibly can. Yeah, okay, so that's maxed out as far as I can go that I have cards for. I'm one of those players, right, where I don't <laughs> I don't like to uh, sp spend all my credits at once. I like to save and save and save. But if you never spend it, then you're just kind of never getting really better. But that's just the way I roll. But we're going to spend everything that we possibly can... Whereas, ma okay, we're maximum upgraded as far as we can go th with the cards that we currently have. Okay, and we still have a ton of credits. You know what, I think buying the credits was a good idea, because I'm not too worried about collecting them now. Alright, let's play some rounds, shall we? Uh, daily reward, uh, the timer hasn't reset on that yet. We'll probably have to play a round first. And that's okay. A lot of buying stuff. Doing a lot of upkeep and stuff. But it's good, because now we should be more powerful. Alright, Brown Leopard, let's do this. Um, I'm going to play as the Tesla, because I really like the Tesla. I do like the Red Ship, but the Tesla is just so good. It's basically easy mode, because you just get to... Oh, oh don't run into that. I ran into the asteroid. Like I, Oh my gosh, it did a lot of damage. Alright, here we go. Oh, get out of the range of your fire. You can't hurt me if your fire's not on me, buddy. Oh, there's just nothing you can do. What are you going to do? Oh, I, oh no, crap. Uh. All right. I'm out of range on him. All right, here we go, here we go. He's got a lot of health, but he just can't keep up. You just can't keep up with this. I am the round-eyed flying saucer of electric death. All right, now he's being the big flying round-eyed saucer of death. Who's the better round-eyed saucer of death? Oh my god, my goodness. He did a little teleporting out. Oh my goodness, he's the better uh, death circle than I am, I guess. Alright, we'll play as the blue guy. He's got the double blaster. I should have I done more warping is what I should have done. Oh, okay. And the, the blue guy, he's cool because he can uh, actually regen his health. I can actually do that while I'm waiting on the match to start. Look at this. A little cheeky heal. And I do like the um, the green guy, I think it was. Yeah, the green guy's got missiles. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I was trying to do some regening. Oh, 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 oh. Grab some health. There we go. 
I, I had too much health. I couldn't fail. I was too big to lose. All right, we broke 1,300 in the in the ranking. 1,300 points. Awesome. All right, and that'll take two hours to do, but that's okay. And that's put us up to number 97. We're in the top 100. It's not too hard to do because there's not a lot of people at the moment, but... I'm gunning for you guys. I'm gunning for you guys. It'll take a while to get in the top 10 because you get like 10, 10 points per win or whatever. It'll take a while to get to the top 10, but that's okay. We're at 97 and I'll take it. Unfortunately, that's all I can do for this episode. I'm all out of time. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you guys on the next episode of Magic Man Mo. Bye! Bye!